Let's make this project left-handed. Welcome to part nine of my stitch by stitch, round by round virus blanket tutorial. Let's go make round 11. Ciao friends, Beth of Thimblehooks and we are on part nine, which is round 11 of our virus tutorial. Stitch by stitch, round by round, we are going to complete this center section right here, which is beige, or which is a, a cream color here. We are going to do our last round of white. All right, let's do round 11. This one again is sneaky. There's my sneaky way to not lose or add a stitch. Find all of your double crochets here from that this side of the fan. We're going to count back nine. So here's the last one. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We're going to mark this stitch. So that's where we have to start. So we won't lose or we won't drop or add a stitch along the way. Okay, so our last round is going to be similar to this round right here, which was round seven. So we're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet, and one more for the chain that is in between every double crochet. So again, that was a one, two, three, four chains, and we're going to double crochet into this marked stitch. So now we have one and two. One with the chain space and two. Now we need a chain space. Take that out and go into the next one. There's our double crochet number three and chain one. Number four, chain one. Number five, chain one. Number six, chain one. Number seven, chain one, eight, and a chain one, nine, and chain one, and our very last one, here's double crochet number ten. Now there wouldn't be a chain one after that because we're doing them in between between every one of our double crochets gets a chain. There's nothing between this because we're done. So there's no chain after the tenth one. There's a chain between every double crochet. So again, we started here with the chain four. The first three chains is a double crochet and then our chain one. Double, 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 double. All the way across the chain one in between every one of them. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, which is exactly where you want to be. Now when we're done with increasing this fan, making our fan bigger and bigger and bigger, we just jump across all of this stuff over here to this next fan, making sure that you're starting in the first double crochet, right here and do the same thing again. Jump right over, there's a double crochet, chain one. There's number two, a double crochet, and a chain one. Three, chain one. Four, chain one. Five, chain one. Six, and a chain one, seven, chain one, eight, chain one, nine, chain one, and ten is just a double crochet because we're only chaining one between, between our double crochets. Now again, Super easy. Just skip all of this stuff, jump right over to this next fan, which is in the corner, 
we're at a corner. So we're just going to jump straight over into the first double crochet here. Double crochet number one and a chain. Two and a chain all the way around. Three and a chain one. Number four and chain one. Number five and chain one. Number six and chain one. Number seven, chain one. Eight, chain one. Nine, chain one. Ten, chain one. Eleven, chain one. Twelve, chain one. Thirteen, chain one. Fourteen, chain one. Double crochet number fifteen, chain one. Sixteen, and chain one. Seventeen, chain one. Eighteen, oops, still eighteen, and chain one. Nineteen, chain one, and there's number twenty. That's our last double crochet in this fan, and it gets no chain one afterwards because that chain would not be in between anything. It would not be between double crochets so we don't chain there. So that finishes our corner. Now it's a big fan. Nice. Just like we did before, jump over all this stuff and go to the next fan. This is one of our increases. So find its first stitch. Jump straight over, double crochet, and chain one. There's two, and chain one. Three, chain one, four, chain one, five, chain one, six, chain one, seven, Chain one, eight, chain one, nine, chain one, and our last stitch, if there's our last double crochet, is a double crochet there with no chain afterwards. So that was one of our increases. So it's a fan of ten. This is a corner. So this fan will end up with 20. Just jump over all of this stuff, find its first stitch right here, and double crochet. Chain one. Chain one. Three, and a chain. Four, and a chain. Five, and a chain. Six and chain seven chain eight chain nine chain ten chain. So there's the first half. Number eleven chain. Double crochet number 13, oops, 13, 13, there we go, and a chain, there's 14, chain, 15, chain, 16, chain, 17, chain, 18, chain, 
19 and a chain one and our last stitch, there's our last double crochet from the previous round, there's number 20. about halfway done with round 11. So we get to skip all this stuff right in here. We don't need to do anything there. We'll just jump straight over to this other, this next fan. So into its first double crochet, the top of its first double crochet right here. It's a double, chain one. For two, chain one. Three, chain one. Four, chain one, five, chain one, six, chain one, seven, and chain one, eight, chain one, nine, chain one, and our last stitch is right here. There's number ten. Done. We're back to a corner. To skip all this stuff, go to the corner so this one's going to get 20. 20 double crochets with a chain in between each. So we start here. There's our first one. Start at the top, right there. Double and a chain one. There's number two. Chain. Number three. Chain. Number four, chain one, double crochet number five, and chain one, there's six, chain one, seven, chain one, eight, chain one, nine, chain one, and ten, chain, gotta complete the rest of this, so here's number eleven. And a chain one, twelve, and a chain one, thirteen, chain one, fourteen, chain one, fifteen, chain one, sixteen, chain one, seventeen. Chain one, eighteen, chain one, nineteen, chain one, and there's our last stitch is number twenty. So there's that corner. And we're almost done with this one again. This is the last side. finish this last side. So again, get all looped up here, get to skip all of this stuff, just jump right over it, double crochet into that first double crochet from the previous round to make our fan bigger and a chain one. Here's two and a chain one, three, chain one, four, Chain one, five, chain one, six, chain one, seven, chain one, eight, chain one, nine, chain one, and there's our last stitch is number ten for that little fan. And now we're at the very end. This is where we started. Round 11 is almost over. Skip all this stuff. Just jump right over here to your first double crochet and double crochet to increase our fan and chain one. Two, three and a chain one, four, 
chain one, whoopsie, chain one, five, chain one, six, chain one, seven, chain one, eight, chain one, nine, chain one, and ten. Now this one is sneaky. You do have to do the chain one because technically this is between chain 10 and chain 11, or double crochet number 10 and 11 for this whole corner. So we have to chain and then we slip stitch into the third chain of our original four, but in the third chain, so we leave a little chain space here. So just slip stitch into that third stitch. One, two, three. And there we go. So there you go, round 11 complete. It was really fast, really easy, very repetitive, just a lot of double crochets to increase all of our fans. So thanks for stopping by to see part 9 of my virus tutorial. Uh, thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications because I think I'm going to change colors one more time and make a surprise part 10. So I will see you soon. Have a great day. Bye.